Okay. So the last suggested tool that I have in this class is a open with quotation. And the open with quotation, what I'll typically see a student do is they probably have done something where they've gone to Google and done some kind of a search on a topic. So let's imagine, uh, I'll go back to snowboarding. I give that as an example every once in a while. Uh, I'll go to Google really quick, not Gmail. Google! And underneath Google, let's say that we're going to do something on snowboarding, and I could go snowboarding quotes. Really, it should be quotations. Snowboarding quotations. There we go. So uh, let's go here to snowslang.com and try to find a nice little quotation that we think would be really, really good. Okay, so there's a couple of little problems with this particular topic and the quotes that I'm seeing. And one is I'm currently not seeing a single one of them that has any actual attribution. So who actually said these things? Um, I don't know. So that's not to say that I couldn't use them, but I'm going to prefer that we try to find uh, by, by somebody. So I'm going to go here, the urban outdoors and see if they'll actually have the attributions with them this time. There we go. So now I'm seeing Jim Bowden, Glenn Plake, Stephen Wright, um, Robert Redford, that kind of thing. All right. So here's the way that I typically see students do things. Let's go with this one right here. Cross-country skiing is great if you live in a small country, according to Stephen Wright. Today, I want to talk to you about cross-country skiing. All right, so what the student has done here is they've opened with their quotation, and then they did at least tell me who said it, and then they moved right into their actual topic. But there's some opportunity here to do this with more power. So one of the things I want you to do is first put the attribution first. I want to know who the person is that says the thing before I hear the thing. And that's because uh, it might be somebody that I really like a lot. Um, and then that will help me to actually believe the quotation a little bit more. So I could say, Stephen Wright once said, cross-country skiing is great if you live in a small country. Today, I want to talk to you about cross-country skiing, right? So that would be an improvement over my first example. At least the attribution is first. Here's the way that we can make it even better, though. On the attribution, tell us something about the person. So I happen to know that Stephen Wright is a comedian. So I could probably massage that just a little bit more by at least letting you know who Stephen Wright is prior to doing it. And then the third step to really doing this well is to connect that quotation to the thesis before doing the, 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 quote, the thesis. So it's three steps. Contextualize, quote, connect, then go to the thesis. That's the way you really do a quotation well. So I'll try to improvise this and give a little bit more of an example here. Seminal and groundbreaking comedian Stephen Wright once said, cross-country skiing is great if you live in a small country. I want to talk to you today about how the exercise of cross-country, whether it be wide or small, is a fantastic way for you to spend time here in Idaho. I want to give you more information about cross-country skiing. So that's the three steps then. I tell you a little bit about Stephen Wright, then I quote it, then I connect it to the thesis, and then I enter my thesis. All right. Now, sometimes like Robert Redford, I don't know, the, you know, a lot of my students nowadays maybe don't even know who Robert Redford is anymore, but he was a you know, really uh, very famous actor. And so uh, sometimes you might know the person right from the beginning. If I were to say, you know, uh, uh, President Obama once stated, you know, you already know who that is, but you still want to contextualize, like where was President Obama when he said it? Was he doing this during his inaugural address? Was he giving a speech uh, to uh, a bunch of people that were upset about raising, their, having their taxes raised? Like, give me some context first, then quote it, and then connect it to the thesis, All right? So that's three steps of the way that you should be doing your quotations. Don't just state the quotation and move to the thesis. Don't state the quotation at, then give the context or the attribution and then move to the thesis. Give the context and attribution, quote it, connect it, then do the thesis. If you do that, your quotation will be very, very powerful. All right.